Alpha 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engines full power, and liftoff of TRS-28. Go Falcon, go Dragon. Liftoff of about 7,000 pounds of science and cargo, including a new pair of solar arrays to boost power on the space. Seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from historic launch oh, complex 39A in Florida. And we're now coming up on max Q in about 20 seconds from now. And this is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will go through during its Falcon flight. And there's that call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic, traveling faster than the speed of sound. You heard the call out for Max Q. Coming up next are three events back to back, the first of which is main engine cutoff or MECO, and this is when all nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down. After those nine engines shut down, the first and second stages will separate, and this is also called out over the nets as stage separation. From there, the second stage will ignite its Merlin vacuum engine to boost Dragon to low Earth orbit during SES or second engine start one. And this whole sequence takes about 15 seconds. should be expecting that call out for main engine cutoff in about 40 seconds from now. Some amazing views of our Falcon 9 vehicle as it takes our Dragon spacecraft to orbit. And in just about 10 seconds, we should see that main engine cut off. Nico? Stage separation. In that ignition. And there you heard those callouts and probably saw on your screen main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then second engine start one. As I mentioned earlier, we're flying an MVAC nozzle, uh, a shortened MVAC nozzle on our second stage. If you're just tuning in, you're watching a live webcast for the 28th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. This is SpaceX's 38th mission for 2023 and the fourth Dragon flight to the International Space Station this year. We lifted off from Kennedy Space Center's historic launch complex 39A just about three and a half minutes ago. Now on your screen, on the left side, you can see our Falcon 9 first stage, which is going to uh, descend back towards Earth, and the second stage on the right side of your screen, which is carrying the Dragon spacecraft. Now, as a reminder, today's mission hey, marks the fifth for flight for this Falcon 9 booster. Falcon 9 booster, which previously supported the Crew-5, GPS-3, Space Vehicle-6, Inmarsat 6F2, and one Starlink mission. In order to make its way back to our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, the Falcon 9 first stage has two more burns to execute. The first is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. This helps slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. The entry burn is followed by the landing burn, and this is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. Now, occasionally with the Falcon 9 first stage on the left side of your screen, you may see some Both small white puffs, and those are nitrogen gas bursts that are used for attitude control. You can also see there on your screen 
a pair of the hypersonic grid fins. Falcon 9 is equipped with four of these grid fins, which are comprised of titanium, and they are positioned near the top of the first stage. Once in the atmosphere, stage one is only using the grid fins for steering as it makes its return to Earth. And these grid fins orient the rocket during re-entry and guide the rocket during its descent.